Hi, welcome to excellab.org. We will see how to create future value interest factor table in Microsoft Excel. So, the formula for future value interest factor is 1 plus rate of interest raised to number of year, which is n. So, considering different interest rate and time period interest rate let's say starting with 1% 2% now we can use autofill handle so take up to 10% similarly time period in year so so let's say up to 10 years so again select 1 2 use autofill up to up to 10 year now here we can put the formula it is 1 plus r is to n so 1 plus we know interest rate it is it is 1 percent raised to 1 year now this is 1.01 .01. now we can use autofill function here but when we use autofill function we will not get the correct answer let's check it now we are getting 1 which is not correct it should be more than 1.01 .01. now reason for this is we can check the formula it is 1 plus b6 and it should be 1 plus b5 so it is taking relative and we we want it b5 we want the constant 1 percent so what we will do we delete this again go to the previous one and we edit the formula so we want always you know 1 percent so so we can make it absolute constant by by putting dollar sign or or pressing f4 key so you can see now it becomes you know it becomes constant okay now if we use autofill we get different you know 1.02 we can see you know 1.03 so now we can take it up to 10 tier and then then we can see you know we we take up to four decimal so so this is for the one percent now same we can do for two percent again put equal to one plus two percent that is c5 make it absolute by pressing f4 and raise to one now we got the answer now we can use autofill or just double click on this on this dot again take up to four decimal same we can do for for three percent equal to one plus d5 make it absolute pressing f4 raised to a7 that is year one enter and use autofill double click on this dot take up to four decimal so in this way you know we can create future value interest factor table now we will see the application of it now suppose suppose you deposit ten thousand dollar at three percent for for let's say four years what is the maturity value now it's it's very simple what we will do you begin with equal to write ten thousand dollars multiplied by the interest factor so we will see the three percent rate and for four years so this is it is 1.1255 so that is the cell is d10 you click on that and enter it so so this is the value so your ten thousand dollar becomes eleven thousand two five five after four years using interest factor table there is alternative way for that we can also do by using future value 
function which is inbuilt function in Excel so begin with equal to write FV so so you can see the function here now it is asking for rate rate it is 3% n per is number of period which is 4 years PMT ignore which is annuity so ignore it and PV your deposit amount which is ten thousand dollars so take minus because why minus because it is cash outflow so take minus ten thousand dollars so you close it enter so you can see it's it's same as the the previous one so so it's same as the previous one so in this way you know uh, you can complete the rest of the uh, the rate and years